Hello, and welcome to Dartmoor. Uh, you join me today at Taunton. I've got Dartmoor here. It's basically a make it up as you go along weekend. Planning to meet a couple of people at Arms Tour this evening. And then, depending where the weather tomorrow is a bit. So, seeing how I feel. I'm gonna decide tomorrow. The plan for today is to go up Branscombe Loaf, find the lid head. Uh, apparently there's an air crash up there, a memorial site. Uh, I'm gonna find that. Uh, hunt tour and have a wander over. It's basically an area I've not really been before, so basically exploration, bit of an explore. See how I get on. So I'll bring you back later when there's something a bit more interesting to show you. Well, there's Branscombe's loaf up there. That's where I'm climbing up next. I thought I'd give you a look round. There's Sitterford and Blackdoor, Highwheel Hayes, Yesdor, West Mill, Blackhill. Modal Reservoir. Uh, it's quite an overcastly day. Uh, what day is it? Last week of September. Uh, I've noticed the last week the temperature's dropped quite a lot actually, so yeah, it might be a bit of a chilly night. It should be alright though. So, see how we go. Uh, there's ravens up on top of a branch coming over and a buzzard. Very nice. Right, I'm going to climb up there. I'll bring you back at the top. Well, here I am on Cold Ridge. <laughs> it's a bit windy. Oh, there's a turn up here. There's yeah, a nice big turn. It's just started raining. I don't think it's going to come too much though. Yeah, it's a nice turn. That's uh, Great Links over there. I think yeah, there's another cone here, so I think that's the loaf there. Yeah. So I'm, there's a sort of track running that way, so I presume, yeah, I might take a bearing actually, I think that might be the safest option. I fear it runs out that way. Yeah, so I'm going to take a bearing, take some pics, and uh, yeah, get them away. That's nice, that's a nice amount of crop this. Lovely. Right, bring it back in a bit. Well, I'm on a bit further. Um, I came a bit further than I thought. I was heading for the, trying to find the, uh, what's it called, lid head, and I couldn't, I couldn't find it. There was a track that sort of comes across, and I uh, decided to stay on it because it was sort of drier than cutting through all the like tufty stuff. Uh, basically, there's Kitty Tour, it comes up to this track, which heads up to Hunt Tour anyway. So I did a bit of a dog leg, but, well, it's a nice dry route across, so there you go. But there's a kitty tour up there. Uh, green tour, bleak house, done of goats, there's great links, and there's hunt tour. So this would be another tour I haven't bagged before. So what I'm going to do after this, I think, is uh, head over to the done of goats. So I've not actually been there either. I've walked past them loads of times, but uh, I've never actually gone to them. So yeah, I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to have some lunch up here. Maybe a coffee, see how I feel. And uh, yeah, I might head over there. I've got plenty of time, it's, it's not even on the clock yet. Well, here we are at the Dunner Goats. There's a Great Links tour up there. Yeah. 
Uh, there's Bleak House and Green Tour down there. These are quite nice actually. Nice little outcrops. And you can see like Fur Tour and Great Mist Tour over there. Yeah, over there. You can see Brat Tour. But, uh, going to Brahms Tour tonight. Yeah. So I'm going to wander down to the other one. I'm going to bring you back out. Here we are at Lower Dunagoat. It's quite a big outcrop actually, I didn't realise it was the size of that. Yeah. The one's up there. I was actually wasn't sure if this was the lower one. I thought they might have I didn't realise they were that close to be honest. So there we go. Lower Dunagoat. So I've bagged these two. So I'm not actually sure what to do now. I might just wander over to Arms Tour and just wait for Robin and Paul. Mooch around, see how we get on. There we go. Well, here I'm on Arms Tour. I've been here before. It's just a good campsite, really. Some good pictures. Uh, it's water nearby-ish sort of thing. There's back tour over there, uh, sharp, and the other tours over there. So there you go. So I'm just waiting on them, and then we'll probably pitch up and have a natter for a bit. It gets dark now, about eight o'clock. So whatever. All right, I'll bring you back in later. Oh dear. So there we are, all pitched up. Uh, Paul's in his Acto, uh, Robin is in his, uh, I can't remember what it's called. The Helisport Rondane Superlight. Uh, and I'm in the Jumid, because Jumid. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me, I'm tired. Yeah, they're over there. Pointing things at things. Uh, yeah, it seems to be quite a nice evening. Well, for dinner tonight, I have got a veggie curry, which I'm going to rehydrate in this bag. It's basically an experiment to see if this uh, sort of thing will work. Uh, I've got the gas stove. I've got the, um, the Suto, is it Amicus? Okay, just like quick and easy. The old uh, titanium Avenue pot. So, uh, yes. So I'm gonna pull this water up, see if this works. If not, I've got other food if this, this ends up being a miserable failure. But I want to try this so I can rehydrate in a bag rather than keep cooking in pots and making lots of mess. So we will see. Morning, peeps. Yes, I've been morning. <coughs> so I'm going to have some brekkie and then decide what I'm doing yeah so I've come off arms tour now uh, there's arms tour back up there yeah I've decided to uh, I'm going to walk back to Belston get picked up from there I was going to 
like I said, go another route, but not feeling it today. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it for another day. It was a flexible trip anyway, so I'm not overly bothered. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely day at the Mo, but heavy rain is forecast around midday. So that's the reason I'm going. I've got my wet gear with me, but I don't know, can't be asked. <laughs> but at the moment, it's a lovely day. So yeah, so I'm going to go. I'm assuming I'm about which way to go. But I'm going to go over Great Nodden, just for reasons. Uh, I'm going to go up to Salton, and then uh, I might actually go the way I was supposed to go yesterday. Sort of make a little bit of a loop of it. So past Meldon and, and that way. But I don't know which way I'm going to go yet, so just play it by ear, I think. So I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, <laughs> what a difference an hour can make. Ugh. Pissing down with rain. It was forecast. Whatever. Yeah, I might stick to a route I know if it's going to stay like this. Um. Yeah, I might go swing around the reservoir and up onto the track that way. Back to Belston. See how it goes. See how it goes. But anyway, there we go. A soggy, foggy Dartmoor. Here we are at Melbourne Reservoir. I haven't been this way for ages. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go round and there's a track that runs up there. I think I'm going to nip up there and uh, join the army tracks below uh, Yestor and Highball Hayes and all that. But uh, yeah, I haven't been this way for absolutely ages. Uh, it's people coming, I'm going to crack on. I'll bring you back in a bit. There's Bradscombe Loaf up there. It's all on tour, there's a reservoir. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I just saw a load of people with waterproofs taking their waterproofs off, so you can guarantee it's going to piss down with rain in a minute. Oh yeah, so they speak of the devil. So anyway, I'm going to get up here. Uh, on the map it looks like I can join up with the tracks. And then take the paths around the bottom of uh, Yestor and West Mill. And come over the back of Road Tour. Hopefully, this way, that's what the map says. Uh, I'm not the best navigator in the world. So we'll see how we get on. Oh, what I decided to do was I wasn't 100% sure I could get down. It looked on the map, it looked quite steep and it did. So I don't know if you can cross there. So what I did, looked on the map, I noticed there's a path that runs all the way down here. And on, my, on the OS map on my phone, it shows a new track because the map I've got with me is a waterproof map, it's quite old. And it showed a ford there. So I hedged a bet, followed the track up, walked down, found, the, found it, and now I'm on this side, 
uh, heading over in that direction. There's a sort of track here and it meets up with the army tracks and sort of like this little valley runs up here and uh, I've got a feeling that this track joins up with them. So yeah, a little bit of exploration. I've never been this way. I've always ever, I've always sort of been up there. Uh, I've got a feeling that's the back of Yes Tour. And that's High Wheel Haze. So yes, it's just I've camped up there and looked down here and seen the tracks and stuff, and I was like, mm, I wonder what's the, where they go. And uh, yeah. So there we go. But next time I'll come that way. And you drop down, you go up under the viaduct, but then I can see if you can cross down there. And if you can, then that's another route sort of thing. Anyway, I'm on up there. I don't know if I'm hitting the summit or following the track up to the right. Don't know yet. See how I feel. There's that. Uh, yes, tour on West Mill. There's Road Tour. That's basically where I'm heading now. I'm following this track. I'm just, I know it's a longish way, but I just want to see where this track goes. Yes, very nice. Uh, I think that way I came is probably the longest way you could come. Coming this way because you go all the way out of the valley and come all the way along. Whereas you come straight up from the viaduct basically to those firing huts. So next time I'll come, I'll go that way and uh, suss out that route. But hey ho, it's been quite a nice day actually. So funny enough, this reminds me of Scotland. Uh, it's the same sort of got sort of like the peaks either side with the with the Land Rover track running up the middle so it's sort of reminiscent of TGO in a way and it's been pissed down with rain so doubly so so anyway well I've come across there now sort of keen there's a uh, yes tour west mill road tour I thought it was going up road tour I looked at that I'm not I'm on this hill, I can't remember what its name, I'll put it below. There's the army barracks over there. Ugh. Yeah, so it's just top of this hill, then up the track to Belston. So I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, yeah, I'm back at Belston. Well, I'm gonna start at Belston, should I say. Oh, I'm knackered. Well, I'm gonna sign off here. Uh, I've only got to go over the top of the hill and drop down. I'm getting picked up. Give me a nice look around. That's fun, that, actually. Uh, sometimes, you sort of like, you keep going the same route, so it's sometimes, good to mess it up and find different routes to different places. Uh, I found a few more campsites as well that might be worth a visit. So there you go. Oh, this is a snow circle. So there you go. Well thank you very much for watching and until next time thank you very much. <laughs>